Grab your support, start nice. Uh, man, this whole hip hop shit has changed now, man. With the how they made everything so convenient for everybody that's coming up now. You know, if you want to make music, you can get your computer and do it on the laptop. You don't need all this big bulky equipment and all this. You might need the speakers and maybe an interface, something that big. I remember back in the day when you used to. Even the cats who made beats, like cats now who make beats, they make them on the Fruity Loops or whatever, or, you know, Reason, no computer programs, no equipment around or whatever. But back in the day, man, you, you know, people had to have turntables to get the loops off, to get the samples off or whatever, or, you know, the big CD players and stuff. But you used to, uh, back in the four track days, when you wanted to make a beat, you had to find your sounds, find the beat, you found the snare, kick the snare, the hi-hats, whatever. But you had to actually play it for the duration of however long you wanted to beat the beat. So the beat was four minutes, and you wanted the snare in there, you had to sit there the whole four minutes and <coughs> for four minutes. And if you messed up, you know, you can go back and record it, you know, try to record over it or whatever. But that's what you had to do with everything. When you play a sample, whatever that sample is, you had to hit it every time on the loop. You had to build it together like that. Not nowadays when you fruit loose, you put it in, you do that for four bars, 16 bars, and it loops itself. Nah, it's crazy how, you know, uh, doing those things gives you, gives you a kind of different outlook on how music is now and, and, and uh, you know, the appreciation for what it takes to make it or whatever. But uh, it's just wild, man. I mean, we used to do that. We used to go to Mark's crib, shout out to Mark, Deep Mob. <clears throat> Man, old. We used to go over there, man. We used to, you know, we were young cats, man. 14, 15 years old. Just over there trying to do something with this music, man. And it's crazy how to see how flaws come. And uh, even to see how the artists that, you know, back then it was only a handful of artists who even did hip hop music in Lynchburg. And that was um, Devious Knievel. Black, um, uh, Robin, uh, Chad Rack from uh, uh, Divine Prophets, rest in peace, Chad, uh, Terry Kane, Earl B. You only had a handful of people who did beats and a handful of people that rapped, and you knew all of them. But now the culture is so big, everybody's rapping now, and everybody's trying to get into this. It's, it's, it's not just the music, it's a culture all together, the fashion. The, the everything, the fashion, the music, the arts, you know, you know everything coincides with it. But hip hop is bigger than just the music or whatever. So it's only it's only right that the people that want to do it grows with the art itself as well. But it's just wild, man. Just seeing how how everybody used to uh, everybody just wanted to be the first person out coming from the city or whatever. And you know, people weren't showing too much love. It was, it was competitive, but it was all more on the shady side. You know, not not competitive in the, you know, still stop still uh, type of thing. It was like you know, yeah, you try to crabs in the bucket type thing. But now people trying to come around and and everybody wants to you know link up and do music and stuff because now everybody knows power in numbers in places like Texas and California and Atlanta that. Uh, that are climbing the charts and becoming bigger and, and strong brands as far as music and everything is because of that, you know, that camaraderie or whatever. And I think a lot of different cities can learn from that. 